What's up, everyone? Christian G from strengthaddicts.com here with MPC bikini competitor Deanna McGinley. Hi. Deanna, how's it going today? Awesome. Awesome. Now, we've actually had to move about 50 times just to get the light right. We are at Jim Mannion's MPC Pittsburgh Championships. We're down here in downtown Pittsburgh, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about getting ready for this competition. Why did you choose this competition? What do you think of it? Sure. I love this show. I actually did this show last year as well. Um, I love the venue. I love being in that theater. I like the space. I like the way that it's run. It's just a really great show. I love the show. Absolutely. Yeah. And now you've been competing for a while. Hold on. Yep. This is uh, the beginning. real life happening. Yeah. Truck just passed by. <laughs> That's a truck. Absolutely. And this is my third season. <laughs> awesome. No, and you know the reason too that we're doing this interview outside. I mean, I usually do interviews inside. But this show is just so huge. I mean, you couldn't pack another person in there with a shoehorn. I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is just a prejudging. Tonight is really when it all goes down. Right. Uh, talk to us a little bit about like when you're about to get on stage. And I asked you this off camera, but you didn't give me the answer, and I wanted to to hear it with everybody else. Those two or three minutes when all the ladies are lined up. Sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes it's five minutes or whatever. Uh, I noticed some ladies talk to each other. Other ladies are sort of like tunnel vision. Some people like look like they're meditating. What's your your whole approach? to those last few minutes right before jumping on stage. Sure, so I am actually um, a little bit of a talker. I like to socialize at that minute because pretty much every single minute up until that point, I'm tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't really take phone calls. I don't even talk to family. I don't talk to my husband. I just, I do what I need to do and I over plan OCD, type sure. A, over plan everything. So that really those few minutes right before I get on stage, I can just, you asked what was in my head. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's a moment of bliss because it's really, finally nothing right because i feel prepared and i've done the best that i can and i've come in with you know a better package than last time and always continuing to improve <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um and it just feels like here i am this is it and here we go so phenomenal I mean, yeah. now we're doing this interview like it's like one of the most chaotic interviews we got cars <laughs> in the background and okay. like sun and this and that <laughs> now you're uh you're married your yeah. husband's in the military in the army that's correct uh you guys live uh in tampa is that correct we live in dc Oh, oh, right. Tampa, oh, right. I, I got to Orlando. I traveled to Chicago for, um, for work. Yeah, please, please do tell us that because I got a little confused. I was yeah. trying to remember where exactly you live and you told me that it's really complicated. So yeah. uh, give me the whole rundown. Born and raised in California, moved to Chicago for graduate school, was in Chicago for 10 years, live in D.C. now. I lived in Wisconsin for a little bit. Jeez. I lived in Orlando for a little bit and now I travel back and forth between Florida, Chicago and D.C. I like to move around. <laughs> when you, when your husband gets out of the service, you guys have to run for office somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Especially in national office. I mean, you, you know how many places you just lived in and you just like point things out. Oh, I love the yeah. restaurant over there and the, this yeah. lady over here. So that's great. <laughs> so um, in terms of future plans, I know obviously we just got done with the prejudging yep. at the uh, Pittsburgh uh, championships, but are there any shows you're looking uh, in the future to do? Oh yeah, you're always looking ahead. Always looking in the future. Um, I am doing, uh, I'm registered for uh, Progress and Pride, and then that's in two weeks. Actually, next week we're doing Florida Grand Prix, which is very fun. I'm definitely signed up for those two guys doing three in a row. Okay. Um, and then looking forward, I'm thinking about some national shows. I am nationally qualified from last year. Awesome. So we're looking at some national shows coming up. I'm hoping, I'm not really sure where to go yet. For sure. It depends on the, how the track runs and how it, how it goes this season. For sure. Now, you also work with Dan and Heather yes. uh, with T4. Yep. Muscle and Fitness, what's that been like? When did you start working with them and what's the process been like thus far? Yeah, it's been great. I really love um, working with Dan and Heather and their whole style is really different than what I was originally training with. So I've only been with them for about four months now, but even in those four months, my musculature has completely changed. Um, mm -hmm. I'm stronger, I'm rounder, I'm more full, and I still have obviously so much more progress to make, but I really like the package I'm coming in with, even though I know there's still work to be done, I'm so I'm so much happier now with what I'm doing sure. physically. So I'm I'm excited. I love their work. That's awesome. Yeah. And finally, uh, where can friends and fans go to uh, follow with you on social media? Follow sure. up with you. Yep, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Snapchat. Um, and it's always Deanna underscore McGinley. And Deanna okay. is spelled D-E-A-W-N-A. Awesome. Thank you very much for MPC bikini competitor Deanna McGinley, Christian Duke, StrengthAddicts.com.